And he would like to thank her coach club coaches, Jane McHugh and Joe Wardman, for helping her become the player she is today. And of course, her parents for being so supportive and giving her the confidence she needs on and off the court. Number two, middle blocker, Riley Cantwell. Our next senior, number five, outsider, hitter, libero, Jaden Tubbs. Over by Mike and Kelly Tubbs. Jaden has played volleyball with Julie, Julia and Aubrey since she was 11 years old. Jaden will be attending University of the Pacific where she will continue her volleyball career. Jaden would like to thank all her coaches, especially Fatima Handy, Gabe Leal, and the entire Rage Volleyball Club staff. Special thank you to her best friend, Whitney Barnes, for dragging her to coach Fatima's Sting Volleyball Clinics because without her, she wouldn't have fallen in love with the game. Lastly, but not least, Jaden would like to thank her mom and dad for all the time and money spent towards her volleyball experiences. This is from her sister, Jazz. Jaden, I am so extremely blessed to be your sister, even if at times I surely don't act like it. I've had the honor to watch you through these years grow up as a player and a person, and I am ecstatic to see what your future holds. You're going to do big things at UOP. Some people wait their entire lives to meet their favorite player, but I grew up with mine. These two years playing with you have been incredible. We may fight and bicker off the court like normal sisters do, but on the court there is no question of our connection. You always have my back and my occasional shame. I'm here. Love always, you're younger, and don't forget taller sister. Make me proud, Jasmine. Our next senior, number six, right side, Audrey Dykesel. Audrey is escorted by her parents, Ted and Linda Dykesel. Audrey's been playing volleyball since she was 12 alongside Julia and Jaden on her first team. She plans on attending a four-year university and studying business or communications. Audrey would like to thank her parents for never complaining about early tournament mornings, her coaches for their endless support, and her teammates for being her family and giving her memories that will last a lifetime. Number six, Audrey Dykesel. Our next senior, number eight, middle blocker, Isabella Bush. Escorted by her parents, Kalani and Michelle Bush. Isabella has been playing volleyball for seven years and attempts to play in college. Volleyball has been a great experience, which has allowed her to play with her girls under the guidance of Coach Lugo and Coach Handy. Isabella would like to express her gratitude to her parents, who have, whom have sacrificed so much to allow her to do what she loves. Additionally, additionally Isabella would like to thank her previous coach clubs, Kristen Pontus, Dave Pontus, and Joe Wartman, who have shaped her into the player she has become today. <laughs> Lastly, she would like to thank her family and friends for their support and endless love. Number eight, Isabella Bush. And we have number 10 setter, Julia Handy. Julia is escorted by her parents, Craig and Fatima Handy. Julia began playing volleyball when she was 10 years old and developed her love for the game at Rage Volleyball Club, which prepared her to play four years on varsity at Turlock High School. Julia will continue her volleyball career at the University of Arizona. Julia would like to thank all of her teammates, especially Jaden Tubbs, who has competed alongside her at club and high school in over 500 matches. Her club coach, Gabe Leal, and her high school coach, Amber Lugo, for shaping her into the volleyball player she is today. 
and of course she would like to thank her parents and family for always believing in her. Number 10, Julia Handy. I can move mine too. Whatever. We got a we got a power point right there. Okay. So for the uh, for the by the way this is my okay. the advertisement. The other two is they're kind of on the fly. Okay. I got them. Um,
Welcome to NorCal Sports TV. I'm Dustin Padgett here with you guys tonight here in Turlock, California for a nice high school girls volleyball matchup here in the Central California Conference between Turlock and Pittman. This is a rivalry that goes back many years and these two teams look to play a very hard fought close game tonight. Coming in Turlock with a record of 11-0 in the conference leading the way 28 and 8 overall. They do have just a two game win streak, so they had one of their losses recently. Pittman is 83 in the conference. Right there, tied for second with Buhop Colony. They're 17 and 14 overall, though, and have had plagued by injuries all year long. They, they came in this year really looking to have a good season and compete for first place but they lost quite a few players Whitney Barnes their four-year senior one week before the season went out with an injury and that really hurt them but they've got a lot of good young players here looking to move on got some commits Mia Libero should be very good contest here Getting ready as you see them warming up out there. We've got a Whitney Barnes is actually still committed to go to San Jose State, as I was just mentioning. But she will be out. 
but look forward for her in the future. We've got the roster here for the Pittman Pride, the visiting team. Number one, Sierra Verdoni. Number two, Fallon Evans, captain. Number three, Madison Wood. Number four, Kaylin Randawa. This, she's a captain as well. I was told to look out for her tonight. Number five, Gracie Alves. Number six, Avery Carlson. Number seven, Mia Bora. Number eight, Emily Vander Weed. Number nine, Gracie Wilming. Ten, Elise Buccelli. Eleven, Emma Hirschstarn, another captain. Number twelve, Madison King. Number thirteen, Madison Hall. Fourteen, Haley Freeman. The roster for the Turlock squad. Number one, Sarah Roma. Number two, Riley Cantwell. Number three, Jasmine Tubbs. Number four, Zoe Creep. Number five, Jaden Tubbs, sister of Jasmine Tubbs. Jaden is one of the captains here. She's a senior. Number six, Audrey Dykesel. Number seven, Mary Kay Padilla. Number eight, Is Isabella Bush. I was told to look out for her by the Pittman head coach heading into this one. Number nine, Alex Souza. Number ten, Julia Handy, another captain who is on one of the keys to the game for the Pittman head coach is to keep the ball away from Julia. She is one of their best hitters and she will be moving on to play further in this game. Number 12, Allison Morris. Number 13, Audrey Tillery. Jaden, Whitney, Kaylin, Julia, all four of these were on a 15 and under national championship team 2015. Julia Handy is committed to go to Arizona as an All-American, was the player of the year last year. So we've got quite a bit of action to look forward here to tonight. Some key players to look out for. Should be a good time tonight. Pittman's head coach, Kristen Pontes Christian, was speaking with her. Earlier, she's been with the program for 10 years. And during that time when she came along, they weren't really volleyball-oriented there at Pittman. But she bought them a program and actually bought a local program and started it in the area. Which would be the Rage Volleyball Club. Or no, that would be the Cru Crush Volleyball Club. The Rage Volleyball Club is another club that some of these young ladies on both squads are a part of which is a very highly competitive volleyball club in this area. So we've got quite a few players here looking to move on. I want to thank Mike Tubbs, father of Jaden and Jasmine, for giving us a little bit of helpful information here about the rivalry and a little bit of knowledge on some of the players here. Hope he's having a good night. Hope you guys at home are going to enjoy our broadcast. Hope you're all having a wonderful Thursday night. Should be a good one. We're getting ready for some action here. We're getting ready to start this game here off in about 10 minutes. We're going to come back and take a little break here with you on NorCalSportsTV.com.
Welcome back here. Getting ready for the opening tip here. You see them both out of the line. It's typical before the volleyball match gets started. Should be very exciting here. Turlock and Pittman. Look to see if Pittman can maneuver their way through, you know, what's going to be a tough battle, you know, on the road versus a team that's undefeated in conference. Turlock, coached by Amber Lugo. Her keys to the game tonight, aggressive serving. Pass well on serve, receive, and take the big swings. Aggressive serving, you like to hear that. I know serving, especially at the, the high school level, can always be a battle. And volleyball is one of those games where you can lose points quickly on service faults, no matter what level you're at. So, you know, to see aggressive serving is her number one key really shows her confidence in her player's ability to serve and get that ball in. This is senior night here. So as you see out there, some of these young ladies receiving flowers before the contest. They all had a little speech and were commended. And, you know, that's always nice to see. And as you can see out there, stands are full. Both sides very active community base here in Turlock coming out to support these young ladies and I think we may be getting ready for our national anthem as we see them standing with the flag over there testing one two testing Pittman testing, coming in testing. 17 and 14 overall. 8 and 3 in conference. Both teams here in the Central California Conference. Turlock Volleyball team, their stats pretty nice. They have an average 11 kills a set. Or they have a Ladies they average 11 kills a set. They have a total of 192 blocks. They average 11.2 digs a set. Serving aces 291, which is an average of three aces per set. They have a total of 1,108 digs. See them introducing the players here. They have both come out and they shake hands with the coaches. Number two, Fallon Evans. It's one of the processes of volleyball that I like. We don't see that Number in many three, sports. You know, as well in baseball after the game, one would shake hands. Football four, after the game, they Amos shake hands. Randella. Soccer, they do this. Hockey, they do do it Number a little five, bit. Gracie but Howell. really in hockey these days, it's more done by the PA announcer where six, in a big stadium three, where you're not really hearing much. Not really paying attention, they're not. They don't do the one-on-one -on -one like seven, we're seeing here. The, uh, making sure that everybody gets their, you know, moment here Number to, eight, and also giving, five. you know, talking, giving respect to the coaches. Number it's nine, just something that's a tradition Blooming. in volleyball that I've always liked. Anyway, Number to uh, Pittman, they average 10 kills a set, 17 digs a set. Number 11. Yeah. 20, 121 four. serving aces, not quite as many. 274 total blocks, Number hitting percentage of .185. Number 13, Madison Hall. Number 14, Haley Freeman. Junior Verdoni, Fallon Evans lead, leading the way on the attacking Carter. end. For Pittman. Pittman is coached by Kristen Pontus. Christian. And Dave Pontus. Coaches are being introduced here now that the players. And now for your Turlock High School. On Pittman Bulldog. have been introduced. And now we're going over to the home team Turlock. Number one, Sarah Robo. And they're going to come over there and. Number She's going to throw her friend in the stands, a little ball. And then give a friend of hers a card with a flower. We'll also throw a ball. That was nice of her. I like to see the 
two teams, and I'm not surprised by this at all because from what I heard from the coach, they've been, a lot of these young ladies on s both sides have played together in many of those clubs and teams that have had new, many much success. Turlock has three division championships, national championship here, 2014 North Cal State Championship, three section championships. It looks like every one of these young ladies has a ball to throw to the stands. That's cool. Keys, keys to the game for, Tur or for Pittman are to keep the ball away from Jaden to cut down the errors. They have a lot of young players because of injuries. And keeping the ball in play. That is going to be key. Number eight, Isabella. Nice throw there for that young lady. She threw that one all the way up there into the stands. I think they all have a ball to throw. And there's some more flowers that are be giving, trading from each other. Oh, she kept the ball. Where's she going with Number the ball? Nine, Alex Souza. Uh, she, I think she's giving the ball, I want to say maybe to her grandma. She gave it to a fan here in the stands. Oh, they're all having a good time here. Turlock High enjoying the home game. A lot of students here. You can see enjoying their Thursday evening at a volleyball game. Really repping their squad very well. Number 12, Allison Morris. I think she may not be playing tonight. She's not Number dressed 13, down. Aubrey Tillery. Getting through the lineup here. All of them have their balls to throw. Bulldogs are coached by Ann, Amber Lugo and Fatima Handy and assistant Stacy Bronken. Getting ready for our opening tap. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please stand, gentlemen, remove your hands. Oh, what a play there from that young man for that ball, to catch that ball. We're going to take a quick moment break while they do the national anthem, and we'll be back here with you some live volleyball here on NorCal Sports TV. Welcome back here. 
getting ready for some live volleyball action. Had a nice pregame show tonight for senior night. You see a lot of these young ladies exchanging flowers and cards back and forth as they have been playing together and against each other for many years. So while it may be a rivalry, I wouldn't necessarily call it an intense rivalry. You know, they, they've, they've got much love between each other and are very excited, you know, for their careers moving forward here in volleyball and probably making lifelong friends here. You like to see that. Everybody's getting all pumped up. The Turlock crowd over there, young the young men, they have quite a few of the high school students over here and they're all dressed, dressed up nicely and all matching shirts. I can't read what they say from here. But they all do seem to be something specific to this to this volleyball or to at least some type of, you know, school athletics. But they're really going, getting loud over there now. Wow. Oh. They all got little, half of them over there got little pictures of some of these players' faces blown up in black and white. And just holding them up there. Well, it's like to be in high school again, right? Nice, good time on a Thursday night. They don't know a thing about homework. Their dog ate that tonight because they're here watching a exciting volleyball match here. Should be getting underway here shortly. The warm-ups are done. Lineups are done. Now everybody is real loud. Everybody's taking their positions. A lot of them are member of the Rage Volleyball Club, as I mentioned. These girls have been teammates for a while. Pittman will be serving first. That will be in play. Oh, nice there. Good work. Right at the net. Julia Handy. Well, I expect to be saying her name quite often tonight. Player of the year last year. Going to Arizona. Serve in play here. Ball. Oh, nice shot there from Pittman. Gets it just inside the line. Even it up at one there. Keeps it in play. That's always the important thing on a serve. Don't allow an ace. Get it in play. Get yourself that opportunity for a point. Serve there for Pittman. Nice low serve, and it's going to get in. Give her an ace there. She kind of let a little bit off on her serve there and found a soft spot on the Turlock D. Grace Wilming there with the serve. Another serve. This one's a little harder. Julia Handy. Oh, nice kill there. Emily Vanderweed. We look forward to see what she can do here moving forward. I've heard a lot of good things about her as well. Three to one lead here for Pittman. Great start here for them in the early going. Serve. Kept in play. Handy. Does a good job. Keep it in play. The ball hits the net. Jasmine Tubbs there with the miss. And the point for Pittman. Grace Wilming on a serving streak right now. Now a little soft serve. Tries a soft spot. And that's going to hit the net and be a double hit. That's not going to count. That's going to be another point. For Pittman, a 5-1 to one lead here in a race to 25. That is a very good position to be in. Timeout is going to be called immediately. I totally agree with that timeout here from Coach Lugo here. It's early going in this set. 5-1 to one is not insurmountable by any means. However, if you don't turn it around here in this next 5-10 to 10 points, you may be very well facing a one-set deficit. That's not something they would like to do here. So, moving forward, we'd like to thank Latif's Restaurant. General, gener generations of locals and travelers alike have made stopping at Latif's tradition and for some a daily routine. Established in 1947 and at its current location since 1960, Latif's Restaurant has become a landmark in Turlock, California. To keep our pies fresh, we bake daily in the restaurant for our dining customers to enjoy by the slice. 
as well as a few whole pies for same day takeout. Serve back in play. Much better attack here for the Turlock team and that might, oh it's still in play. Good defense there for Pittman. Here it comes to the net and it hits the top of the net. Was, we're not able to continue that rally and get it back to the other side. There'll be a point there for Turlock ladies. It's now five to two. The Bulldogs back on serve. Nice serve there, but a good defense. Oh, and the ball is crushed. What a hit there. A nice smack. Six to two lead for Pittman. They are playing some good volleyball right now. Serve in play just over the net. Nice stop there. Julie Handy puts it up in his block. Pittman on fire. Seven to two here in the early going. This is Kaylin Randawa, captain here on serve. Another serve in. Julia Handy sets it up for her teammate, gets it over the net. Pittman back with it, goes back over. Turlock's way, here come the Bulldogs for a spike. Oh, nailed it. No problem, there. Seven to three here in the first set. Great start here for the Pittman. Pride. Serve. Stopped by Pittman. Here comes the spike, and that is still in play. Here we go. Back over to Pittman. This is a nice point here on both sides. Spike come over. It's still stopped in play here. Back over at the net. A dig and a point one from Pittman. Avery Carlson with the kill at the net there. What an exciting point that was back and forth. Well over a dozen balls hit. Serve in play for Pittman. Back over to the net. Good job of defense. Here comes the setup. The spike nailed. Emily Vanderweed puts that one where it needs to be. 9-3 lead for Pittman here. Madison Hall here on serve for Pittman. 9-3 lead in the early going. A little bit of a surprise. Serve is in play. Julia Handy sets it up for a spike and that one's going to be nailed. That there to Jasmine Tubbs and Julia Handy. Those two work very well together. That's a deadly combination. They can do that quite often. Jasmine Tubbs serving, and that will be a point here for Pittman. I believe that was a service fall off the net. 10 to 4 here in the early going. Race to 10 1 by the Pittman Pride ladies. Back on serve. That is going to be a point over the net and lands on the ground. Kind of caught him off guard a bit. Fallon Evans here serving for Pittman. Served in play. Here comes Julia Handy. Sets it up. Back over the line. What's the call? Will be called out by about a foot here. So, we'll keep the point over here to Turlock. Good effort. From the Pittman Pride on that play. Sarah Romo serving. Ball's dug good. Oh, spike a little bit long. Missed by six inches. 11 to 6 here now. Another serve for Sarah Romo. That is their first streak of two here in the early going. See if they can build some momentum. At the net here, Pittman, nice little tap over. Still in play, Handy sets it up for Tubbs yet again, but the ball is dug out nicely. Still in play here, Handy again, sets up the spike. Oh, what a stop on defense over there. That was Fallon Evans with the stop. Another spike here for Turlock, another save. What a point here, is still in play. The ball gets knocked out of play by the Turlock ladies. 
What a point there. Wow, 12-2-6. Some exciting action on that. As you see quite a few spikes that were dug out nicely. Back at the net. Oh, what a kill there. Oh, here we go. Good play from Pittman. Still in play. Comes the spike coming. Still going at the net here for Turlock. Back over to Pittman. What a point. These two teams are really playing awesome. A spike there for the Turlock Hoodies. Isabella Bush with a nice point there. After all that, the point is won by the Turlock Ladies. 12 to 7 here in the early going. Pittman Pride in a very good position in this set if they can just maintain. That's the key in volleyball. Don't let the other team get on a streak. And if you're in the lead, you're in a good spot. Ball is hit. That will be out of play. Another one missed by just maybe six inches there. And we see the momentum slightly turning. The Bulldogs are starting to find their rhythm here in the early going. 12 to 8 in the opening set. Oh, miss hit there off the side of her hand. Gift point there, and that may be a timeout call, and I like that timeout. So far, we've seen two timeouts called, and both of them have been at the proper time. Coaches definitely are right on point with calling their timeouts. I'd like to thank Crivelli Shirts and more. Started in 2005 in our garage as a promotional items company. We soon discovered that our niche would be the local schools, we, so we opened our storefront downtown. We offer screen printing, embroidery, custom rhinestone apparel, hats, bags. Don't see what you want in our store? We can make something custom for you. We also carry the best letterman jackets in the industry and do all embroidery and patches in-house. Have an idea for custom design for your jacket? We can make it happen. Thanks again, Greg Cervelli. 12 to 9 here. Back in play after the quick timeout. I'm sure Coach Pontes Christian said hey, you are still in the lead here in this set. You just need to settle down a little bit and start gaining points one at a time. Work your way up to the 25. That might be another point. Still in play. Wow, what a job there. It's uh, going to be out of bounds, though. The good job, though, just to keep the ball in air. 12 to 10. That's a streak of four here. Very cr crucial time in this set, maybe even in this match for the Pittman Pride. They want to get it back on track, and they will right there. You see the emotion let. Kaylin Randawa, the captain, a senior. Right there to make that happen on that play. 13 to 10. Serve in play. Julia Handy sets it up. A nice spike there. Isabella Bush really bringing it now. And here comes the fans for the Turlock Bulldogs. Serve in play Jaden by Jaden Tubbs. Nice spike, and that's going to be another one, Isabel Bush with the point, making 13 to 12, and they've almost came all the way back here in the early going. You can feel the tension. You can almost cut it with a knife in here right now. 13 to 12. Oh, what a point there. Pittman Pride. Ayla Randawa again. Serve in play here for Pittman. Julie Handy setting up. None other than Tubbs. And it's in play. Pittman Pride. Emily Vanderweed there with the point, making it 15 to 12. And what a response here. They've been in, they were in the lead this whole set. The Turlock Bulldogs made a fierce comeback, but now these last couple of points, 
give the Pittman Pride an opportunity to feel like they're back in it. A nice opportunity there, but not able to make the stop. Another point there. Sixteen to twelve. Serve in play. Here's Julia Handy setting up tubs. And it is nice. Stop there. Kill with the net. Seventeen to twelve. That is now a four streak in response to the five streak. Really playing a good opening set here of the Pittman Pride ladies. Back on their side. Coming up for nice play at the net, a little tap over, still in play. Julie Handy setting up tubs. Yet again in his kill. Is it gonna be in? They're gonna give the point to the Turlock Lady say out by a few few inches. However, they've been using that same same six inch you know thing on almost all of them they kind of put up their hands for about the same distance can't really get a good idea but out by it just a hair 17 to 13 serves in play oh nice save there from Tubbs oh my good work there from the Turlock ladies get it back over the net Pittman Pride here have a nice little tap and that's gonna land out of play by just a slight bit Nice idea there for Vanderweed. That's key volleyball at the net. You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna spike or if you're gonna tap, you just do something real nice and easy. You know, that was what she did there. Try to catch him off guard. Just couldn't land it in play. Pittman ladies setting it up here. Oh, nice defense on the other end. When you get the point, point over here to the. Pittman team. I missed what they called on that one. 18 to 14 though. Serve off the net and it's going to land to the ground. Tubbs was not able to save that point. And it's now 19 to 14 here in this opening set for the underdog here. Pittman Pride ladies. Serve in play. Down again. They're finding the soft spot there. They're Finding that open hole. 20 to 14. Nice run here. Looking to finish this set off. Take the lead here in the early going. We'll have a little break going on here. Back and back in play. Hit me with the serve. Randawa serving. Handy. Back to Tubbs. Nailed it. We've said that a few times. I'm sure that's been said quite a few times over the years. Those two young ladies make a good team at the front line. 20 to 15 here in the early going. First set. So our Bulldogs looking to make a comeback. They do get that one in play. It's still alive. Oh, but it hits the net. Unforced there from uh, Randawa. Was fairly easy one, but she just missed it. Another point there. Makes it 20 to 16. Great serve there. Aced it. Right on her. So hard she couldn't do anything with it. And the quick streak of three leads to another timeout here for the Pittman team. And as the underdog, I, I, I don't I do, I do agree with that. You know, that you only get a certain amount of timeouts per game, but I think this is a good time for it. I'd like to thank Meeting Rooms On Demand Script. Meeting Rooms On Demand. A unique alternative to hotel conference rooms with rates as low as $40 an hour and seating capacity up to 50 We provide unprecedented value for small businesses. Locations in Fremont, Castro Valley, Fresno, Las Vegas, with new locations coming soon to Modesto. Reach us at meetingroomsondemand.com and tell them what you saw this ad on NorCal Sports TV for a 50% discount off your first rental. Unprecedented service and value meeting rooms on demand. Key stretch here in this early set when it seemed like the Pippin Pride really had put the nail in the coffin at a 20 to 14 margin it's right now 2017 and coming in as the underdog you, you have to sweat a little bit they still have five more points to attain here oh what a play at the net there from the Turlock Bulldogs 
Jasmine Tubbs there at the net gets the job done. Streak of four, 20 to 18 now. Serve, that'll be a service fault. Julia Handy had been on fire on that serve. With her on serve, they had won four points in a row. But that fault there is a key one, 21 to 18. Pittman Pride, four points away here from this set. Would love to keep the serve on their side. They do get it in. Still in play. Handy keeps it back over. Set over the net there. Back on Pittman Pride's side. Nice hit there. Good stop from Tubbs. And her sister taps it over the net. And that will be well placed. There from Jasmine Tubbs. Jaden to Jasmine. Twenty-one to nineteen now. Coming down to the nitty-gritty here in this set. Jasmine back on serve. Good play from the Pittman Pride and Randawa. Oh, but it's stopped there by Audrey Dykesel. Good play from her, and all of a sudden it's 21 to 20 now. Jasmine Tubbs back on serve. In play here, set up nicely. Here comes an opportunity. Spike. Oh, what a dig there. It's back in play. Back over the net here. Another opportunity here for the Turlock ladies. And Pittman defense is still there. Now they're going to take their chance at the point and they're going to nail it. What a point there. That was an important one. Battle back and forth. Vanderweed with a nice hit there. 22 to 20. Back on serve in the lead. Serve in play. Oh, kill it. The Nebula is still in play. Great job from the Turlock ladies. Not give up on that point. Oh, what a tap. Well played. The Pittman Pride ladies. Sierra Verdoni. That'll be a timeout call with the 23 to 20 lead. Stranglehold here late in the opening set. Turlock ladies have had streaks of four and five so far in this set so they can do it once more but they're gonna need it right now if they wanna fight back and win this opening set as we expected a very competitive battle here expect the Turlock ladies to continue to battle out undefeated here this is just one set volleyball is best of five So there's nothing to panic about yet. Still the early going in this match. 23 to 20. Pittman Pride ladies. Coach Pontes Christian just stressing to her team to keep it in play. No service faults here. That's not what she would be looking for. Fallon Evans, another captain, senior serving. You always love your captain serving in key moments like this. Oh, nice dig there. Save that point for the Pittman Pride ladies. But for how long is the question? Oh, it's still in. Back over the net. Julie Handy setting up tubs. Spike nailed it. Back over to the Bulldog side. Jaden Tubbs there. Love it. Handy to Tubbs. Teamwork. Go with what? It's got you there the whole way through. 23-21. Sarah Romo here to serve. Makes it in. At the net. Battle still there. Spike. In. Good call there. What a shot. 23-22. One point game. That timeout was a perfect timing on the timeout for Coach Lugo. Back in play at the net. Oh, still in play here. Back over to the Pittman ladies at the net. Oh, good defense on both sides. This is a very important point, and it's going to be out by about two, three inches there. And now we'll have a couple of set points here for the Pittman Pride ladies.
24 to 22. Opening set, set point. Still in play, Handy sets it up, nice! Well done on the defense there. Point back over to the Bulldogs. One more set point to come here. Audrey Dykesel serving now. Important point. Out! Service fault for the set. Dykesel couldn't get it in, and that'll be opening set here to the Pittman. Five ladies. One. Oh, er early going in the opening set. What a battle there. Back and forth, but early taking a big lead there with Pittman Pride. Three different times, however, the Turlock Bulldogs fought their way back in that set. And we're just one more point away from continuing the set further. We've got to win a set by two points, and they won by just two. It'll be a good start here for them. Look to see for the Turlock Bulldogs and Amber Lugo to recoup. We've got a couple of minutes here before our next set. I'd like to thank Latif's restaurant. Generations of locals and travelers alike have made stopping at Latif's tradition for, and for some a daily routine. Established in 1947 and its current location since 1960, Latif's restaurant has become a landmark in Turlock, California. To keep our pies fresh, we bake daily in the restaurant for our dining customers to enjoy by the slice, as well as a few whole pies for same-day takeout. 1-0 lead here for the late road ladies. This could play a big effect going further. If they win this one, they would go to 9-3, and, and Turlock would drop to 11-1, make a two-game difference here in the standings. Look for the... Turlock ladies to battle back here quickly. And they were the favorites here tonight. Coming in undefeated. Great play by Vanderweed and Randawa in that opening set. Look to see in Fallon Evans as well. We'll see moving forward if these young ladies can hold strong and continue to play with the same fierceness they did in that opening set as they still will have to carry a couple more set wins here before they get much further. They're not going to be able to get a win until you get three, so... Getting ready for our set two. Coaches are talking it over with their players. They do switch sides, so... If you notice something a little funky out there, that's just, they didn't switch uniforms, they just switched around on the different side. Turlock ladies look like they're not bumming out at all, not getting down on themselves. You see smiles in their faces, they seem chipper and ready to go. That's very important in any sport. If you're losing, you can't get down, you gotta figure out a way to get through it. Coach is talking a little strategy. Both sides here. And we're getting ready to get going here in our second set. I like how at the home scoreboard we have not listed the first set victory yet for the road team. Maybe sometime in the middle of set two we might see that come up there. It looks like we are ready here for our second set. Jaden Tubbs. Stern gets it in play. Good job for the Pittman ladies. Take the opening point there. Good defense to get that ball back over the net. Serve. Off the net. Down on the ground. And that'll be a play. A point there for Pittman. Good effort. There from Jasmine Tubbs. Almost was able to, to get that off the ground there. Served in play. At the net here from the Pittman ladies. And a wig. Nailed that one. Oh, that one was shot too from Tubbs but a little long 
And the Pittman ladies out to a 3-0 lead here in the second set. This is a crucial time here for the Turlock Bulldogs. Don't want to get down too large in this second set. Nice there, but it's still kept in play from Pittman. Back over the net. Saved. Here we go. Just puts it back over the net. Do the Turlock Bulldogs. Now it's back on their side again. Long point here. Good battle. Tubbs. Back over to Randawa on the Pittman side. She sets up her teammate. And that there was a nice kill from Isabella Bush right at the net. Battled that point out. Did the Bulldogs there. Could have gone either way. 3-1 to one here. On serve. Gets it in. At the net here. Nice play there. That'll be a point for the Bulldogs. Julia Handy getting the job done at the net as per usual. The ball is kept in play on the serve there. Back over. Handy setting up Tubbs. Shoots it just long, though. About a foot or so long. Four to two. You gotta think that they're gonna continue to stick with that. That's their bread and butter. She's not gonna miss those shots too often. Service in play here. At the net. Tubbs. Nice nice one there, but good defense with the Pittman Pride ladies. Tapped over the net. I love that. And it's gonna land. The soft little tap is going to land down onto the ground. Falls in between a few of the Turlock ladies. Make it 5-2 to two lead here. Early going of set two here in Turlock, California. Hope you guys all having a wonderful Thursday evening. I'm Dustin Patrick here with you. That'll be another point here. 6-2 lead. And the Pittman sideline over here right next to us is getting a little loud. Starting to feel the vibes a little bit. That's out of play. Tubbs is missing a little long right now. Going to be a timeout. Quick timeout called by Coach Lugo. Shaking her head. Not very happy with the uh, unforced errors there. You just got to keep the ball in play. I know that was one of her, her keys here. Aggressive serving. Pass well and serve, receive, and take the big swings. They've definitely been taking the big swings. But down 7-2 to two here in the early going. We'd just like to thank our sponsors here. Latif Restaurant, Meeting Rooms On Demand, and Crivelli Shirts and more. 7-2 to two lead here in the second set. Pittman already up. One set to nil. Timeout here is complete. Coach Lugo had a minute there to get her ladies back on track here. So far, what we've seen so far is a surprise tonight. Turlock has definitely been having a really good season. Another point there, 8-2. to two. Pittman really on a nice roll here. And as I mentioned, same way in the first set, now the Turlock Bulldogs are going to need to find their way back into the momentum of this set. They were able to creep their way back last time. Service fault there. That'll help. 8-3. to three. Julia Handy's going to go on serve her last serve through the added four points. Handy serves that one way up high. Oh, you like that. Look at that ace. Julia Handy. You see how high she tosses that ball in the air. I can see why Arizona likes this young lady. Eight to four. Here she go again. Oh, service fault there. But that's exactly what coach wants her to do is serve aggressive. We were just talking about that before the game. That's what the, her number one key to the game is serving aggressive. And if that's not an aggressive serve right there, I'm not sure what is. She went all out on her serves. And whenever those land in play, those are hard to hit back. 9-4 to four here in the early going of this set. A 
brief break here as they're checking something on the net. All looks well. Nope, well, they're still they're double checking the net now. Double and triple. Make sure that net is right where it needs to be. Randawa back serving. Tubbs keeps it in play handy. Sets up her teammate. Pittman back on the other way. Randawa sends it back over. Good defense on both sides. A nice little soft tap there, but it's still in play. Both ladies on both sides doing great on this point. What's it going to come down to? We'll find out. What a rally here. Still in play. Now back over to the Turlock ladies. Pittman keeps it in play. Randawa. What a point. Tubbs. No, it's still saved. This point is ongoing. Still in play. Oh, my. What a stop there. Point one by the Turlock Bulldogs. Wow. That's the point of the match here so far, folks. That was back and forth. Nine to five here. Bulldogs back on serve. Tub serving. Pittman ladies get it over. Tubbs. Going to get the point there. Nine to six. Jaden Tubbs smashed that one. Oh, they call it in. Fans didn't like that one. Ten to six. You gotta give the line ladies credit. Oh, they're right there on it. Serve in play here. Tubbs stops it. Handy sets up the other Tubbs. And going to give the point here to the Bulldogs. 10 to 7. Trying to climb their way back here in this set. Plenty of time to make the comeback in this one. 10 to 7. Service here. That's going to be miss hit there. Mistake on the Pittman side. 10 to 8. Miscommunication it seemed there from a couple of teammates. Those are points that they do not want to give away. We're to make them earn their points. Sarah Romo back serving again. Nice job at the net there. Oh, smashed. Isabella Bush with that one. 10 to 9. Right back in it here. Just a moment ago it was 9 to 4, so we're on a 6 to 1 scoring run here. I feel like this is another very crucial moment in this match. Is Pittman going to be able to take control of this match, or is Turlock going to get back in it? Ooh, what job of defense there for the Turlock ladies. Stop that. Keep it in play. Nice work at the net from Bush. Here it comes from Tubbs. Sets over. Oh, and she's going to get the point there. Knotted up at 10. Momentum now on the side of the Bulldogs, and that's going to be a timeout on the other end. Pittman Pride Ladies giving up the lead here in this second set. Knotted up at 10 apiece. As you see here, nice point. One by the Bulldogs. We'd like to thank Crivelli Shirts and more. It started in 2005 in our garage as a promotional items company. We soon discovered that our niche was would be local schools, so we opened our storefront downtown. We offer screen printing, embroidery, custom rhinestone apparel, hats, bags. Don't see what you want 
in our store, we can make something custom for you. We also carry the best Letterman jackets in the industry and do all embroidery and patches in-house. Have an idea for a custom design idea for your jacket? We can make it happen. Time out over with. Back to action here. 10 to 10, all knotted up in the second set. Man, they're doing a little tape work here on the net, on the break. Make sure that net is at the right level. Make sure there's no problems with that net. And we're all good to go. Coach Lugo takes care of the net problem. And back in play. Sarah Roma back for another serve, looking to keep it going. What a play there from Tubbs at the back end there to keep this one in play. Oh, nice. Oh, saved. Oh, my. What a save from Handy there. Wow. Still in play here. Oh, my. Romo with another one there. They're really doing a job. Are the Bulldogs not giving any ground? Still in play. Handy. To Tubbs. Back over to Pittman. We have seen some points here tonight. Still in play. Handy. Back over the net to the Pittman ladies. Stop at the net. That's going to go out. Oh, we've got two separate calls here. But the head, of, the head official gave the point to Pittman, ladies. They're, they're discussing if they may overturn this because on our side, he called it for Turlock. Over there, it was called for Pittman. Long discussion here. Point to Turlock. Overturn point. That could be key. 11 to 10 lead. Romo on fire now. Streak of four on this serve. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Latif Restaurant, Meeting Rooms on Demand, and Cravelli Shirts and more. Romo back on serve. Nice work there from Handy. Oh, put back over the net. Pittman probably let his get a point back and show a lot of emotion there to get that one. 11 to 11. And a read with the play there. Now we have Fallon Evans serving again. Kept in play. Tubbs puts it back over the net. Nice defense here on both sides. Pittman ladies setting it up here. Oh, unforced error there from Randawa. Misses it. 12 to 11 lead for the Bulldogs. Nice comeback here in this set. Did similar in the opening set. Just weren't able to come all the way back. Here they've got the lead, so see what they can do as this set moves forward. Serve, still in play here. Fallon Evans puts it back over the net. Handy sets up Bush at the net. Point one from the Bulldogs. A little bit of an argument, but not very long there. Just a quick little little argument 13 to 11 now biggest lead of the set of the contest so far for the Bulldogs nice point there Grace Wilman nails it 13 to 12 lead for the Bulldogs Sierra Verdoni serving here. Oh, 
Give her an ace on a miss there. Big point, 13 to 13. That was Mary Padilla with the miss. Dubs smacks it. Still in play. Put back over the net there. Pittman at the net here. Back over on the Turlock side. That's going to be a nice point there. Well earned for the Bulldog ladies. Grab the lead back here, 14 to 13. Contest has been very evenly matched here so far. Tubbs getting ready to serve. Randawa out. 15 to 13 lead for the Bulldogs there. Tubbs back for a serve. Well done at the net. And now the Bulldogs are really feeling it. Another timeout coming over here for the Pittman Pride ladies. They do not want to let this second set get away from them. It was 9 to 4. So it's a 12 to 4 run right now for the Bulldogs. Crucial for them trying to even this match up at one set apiece. Three point lead in the set for the Bulldogs. Meeting rooms on demand. A unique alternative to hotel conference rooms. With rates as low as $40 an hour and seating capacity up to 50, we provide unprecedented value for small businesses. Locations in Fremont, Castro Valley, Fresno, Las Vegas, with new locations coming soon to Modesto. Or reach us at meetingroomsondemand.com and tell them you saw this ad on NorCal Sports TV for a 50% discount off your first rental. Unprecedented service and value meeting rooms on demand. Back to action here. Tubbs with serve. 16 to 13 lead. Bulldogs have found their rhythm. That is for sure. See if they can continue here. Handy. Setting up Tubbs. Back over to the Pittman Pride ladies. Randawa, nice. There. Well done. When you're at the net right there, you got to use your eyes. And she saw nobody in that open space and just gives it a nice little tap right there. Doesn't have to be hit hard to earn yourself a point. You just have to be smart. 16 to 14. Serve up. Kept in play. Put over the net quickly from Handy. And that's going to be spanked over there. Almost saved there from, from Padilla. Well, that's going to be a nice point from Pittman. Much needed. Make this a little closer. 16 to 15 now. Serve in play. Tub stops it. And he sets her back up. Oh! Wow! A kill at the net there. Pittman Pride, ladies. Three points in a row, even it up at 16. Coach must have lit him up in that timeout. Was a good one. Serve back in play. Tubbs to Handy. This time she's going to set up Bush. And it's going to be out. Out by about a foot or so. And that's going to be a 17-16 lead. A four-point streak out of nowhere from the Pittman Pride ladies. Not giving up on this second set. Another serve. Stays in play. Handy sets up Bush again. And that time they will get it done. Even it back up at 17 apiece, but a good work there from the Pittman Pride ladies to almost assure them at least a good opportunity here down the stretch of the second set. For a moment, this set was getting away from them there. Serve in play. Pittman Pride ladies set it up at the net, and that may earn them a point. It will. Ball's going to land in the stands. And you see right around, they all move out of the way trying to give their lady some chance to make some miracle play diving over near them, but not to be had there. Pittman Pride Ladies back in the lead. Serve. That's going to go out. Two-point lead. A big 
run here. Six out of seven. Turnaround from 16 to 13 to beat it up 19 to 17. Whoa, that one goes up high. Oh, nailed! Pittman, five ladies in full force here. And that'll be a timeout call. The much needed one from Coach Lugo and the Bulldogs. 20 to 17 lead now in the set. Seven of eight points. Like I said, really out of nowhere, it seemed like the, the Bulldogs had really gained the momentum that they had been looking for, that they've had all year long. You know, trying to gain the flow into this match and even it up at one set apiece. It really felt that's where this was headed just moments ago. Well, that's the best thing about sports, folks. Anything can happen on any given Sunday, as they say. Or as in tonight's case, any given Thursday night here in Turlock, California. I'm Dustin Padgett here with you on NorCal Sports TV. We thank you guys for tuning in back at home. Hope you guys are enjoying your evening. Hope you're enjoying our broadcast. I know you got to be enjoying a good volleyball game here because this is a very competitive one. Pittman Pride ladies are a handful of points here away from taking a dominating lead. Timeout is over. 20 to 17. Let's see if Coach Lugo can light the same fire that Coach Pontez Christian is lit in her ladies in that prior timeout. Grace Wilming. Back to serve. Turnlock keeps it in play. Tubbs. Oh, well done from her there. Good defense to keep this point alive from Tubbs. Oh, missed it the net. Unfortunate there for Avery Carlson. Missed that shot. It gives them a easy point there. Bulldogs are inching closer. On serve, handy. Back on serve to see if she can get herself a nice streak. Look at that ball high up. Look at that serve. That serve looks like it would hurt. Out. Play to the Bulldogs. Nice point there. 20 to 19. Killer serve here from Handy. Here she goes again. Let's see what she's got. That one's a little bit higher, but she gets it in play. No more faults like the prior. That's going to be a nice point one there. Huge point one there from the Pritman Pride ladies. 21 to 19. It's always key to get Handy off serve. That was what they were looking to do there. Serve. Kept in play there. Oh! That'll be out. Nice point there for the Bulldogs. Good effort. Pittman Pride ladies. 21 to 20. It's Tubbs serving here. Oh! Lack of communication. Randall misses it. Easy point there. 21 to 21. And the Bulldogs use the timeout was key. They turned that three-point deficit around quickly. Four out of five points. Even it up. This set will come down to the wire. Serve is in play. Set back over the net. Tubbs overshoots it quite a bit there. Got a little excited. 22 to 21 lead for the Pittman Pride ladies. It may very well be the next one to win a service point. Could win this set. That sometimes can be very normal in volleyball. Let's find out. Key serves all coming up right now. Pittman Pride ladies keeping it in play here. Setting up a play with the spike. Nailed it! That's exactly what the coach was looking for there. She called it. I saw her throw up the play call. Set up. Her big bopper, Vanderweed. Huge point there, 23 to 21. And the Pittman Pride ladies are in control right now. What can the Bulldogs do? They gotta fight back. That is not it. They call it out. Triple set point coming up for the Pittman Pride ladies. That was a close one. Missed just barely. Serving for the set. 
Bulldogs here. Missed it. Shoots it wide. Oh, no. They're going to give her the point there. 24-22. Nailed the line. That was a close one. Same as the prior. Point could have gone either way. 24-22. Sarah Romo with the serve. She had a nice streak earlier. Wow. Good defense there for the Bulldogs. Nailed it. Big point there from Tubbs. 24-23. And that triple set point is now a single set point. We have a discussion here. They may overturn this one. Let's see here. Oh, that looks in to me. Two separate calls. And they will give the point to the Turlock Bulldogs. Romo back and serve. This is a big one. Oh, keeps it alive. Still alive, back over the net. Bulldogs there, almost lost it. Oh, nice spot. Good job from Tubbs to keep it alive. Good effort here. Back over and she's gonna miss it by a foot. Not even a foot, maybe just a few inches on the miss there. And that set will go to the Pittman Pride ladies. Wow. Two sets to nil in the early going here. Two to nothing. Let's watch this point again here. It was a long one. As you see the serve, we get right there. A great stop there from the Bulldogs to keep it in play. And then I believe we get one more from Tubbs coming up right about here. Right there, diving to keep that in play. But then as you see, the hit there just missed by about six inches over here. Two to nothing lead here in sets for the Pittman Pride ladies. Coming in as the underdog, still got one more to go. Turlock Bulldogs not going to go down without a fight. We still very well could be in for a five-setter here. We'll have to see what Coach Lugo does to get it going again. Both sets ending in the score of 25 to 23, so before the set was said and done, it came out to be about as close as it can be there on both sets. The Bulldogs both times got down early, so that's what maybe they'll be looking to do. I'm almost sure she's going to say we need to get up because both sets they went down quite a bit in the early going of the set. And they, although one time we're able to o overcome that and take a, a, a three-point lead in the second set, they were not able to hold on. So if they start out better in this one in a better position where they're not behind, you know, where they're already ahead, then moving forward in the set that might give them the momentum they need to really go out there and just grab one. Because I know right now that's what she's telling them. She says stay aggressive. You know, that was her key to the game. She's not going to back off that now. She wants them to serve well. She wants them to, you know, keep the ball in play. That was one of her keys. She, and that's, that's always a difficult one in the game of volleyball. But the longer you keep it in play, she feels the advantage is on her squad, who is much older, more experienced. Pittman Pride ladies, you know, talking to Coach Pontes Christian coming into today, she was mentioning they're not going to be competing for the division title, but they're really, you know, excited to see, you know, if they can come out and come put together a good game tonight. You know, they've had some injuries that have been biting them all year. They've got a, a very well-known past in the volleyball world. Both of these squads have had nothing but success, really. Getting ready to start our third and final set. Ah, I shouldn't say third and final set. We're best of five. Would be the final set only if the tur or if the Pittman Pride ladies come out on top here. Well, let's see how it starts out. Let's see if the Bulldogs are able to jump out early and take control of it because I'm sure right now as the heavy favorite coming in here undefeated, they would love to just get a quick set, you know, like a 25-7 to 7 or 25-15, you know, something like that. Something real quick and easy. 
Gain the momentum back on their side a little bit moving forward. Because they're going to have to pull out three sets here to win this one. Emma Herkshorn getting ready to serve here for the Pittman Pride ladies to start off after they review a couple of quick notes. I think we're all ready to rock. 2-0 to oh set lead here. Served in play here. Handy sets up Bush. Nice kill at the net there. Grace Wilming. Great job. Pittman Pride Ladies playing with nothing but excitement. And now their fans are really getting into it. Just want to finish it off. Would love to win this set. Come in here and win in straight sets against an undefeated team, that would be something else. That ball's gonna be out of play there. It's gonna be one to one, back over to the Bulldogs. Looking to gain some momentum here in this match. Mary Padilla, serving. And Adawa keeps it in. Nailed back over there by Vanderwee. Oh! Alan Evans with the defense there. Love the diving stop. Back over the net here. Handy sets up Tubbs. Out of play. Missed it wide. Two to one lead here. Wilming with the serve. Tubbs to Handy. Handy puts it over immediately. And it lands on the crowd in between all five young ladies. Oh, that was a one you won't see too often. It, all five of them were in a small little circle, and somehow the ball landed right in between them. Just missed that. Two to two. Even here to start. And that'll be a point there for the Bulldogs. Tubbs on serve. Jaden Tubbs, captain. Spoke to her father, Mike, before the game. I'm sure he's out here somewhere enjoying this game. Maybe join it a little bit more if they can come from behind and get a victory here. Oh, well done there at the net. The Pittman Pride ladies, good defense there. Knotted up at three. Back and forth here now in this first set. A little different than how we started our prior two sets. At the very least, uh, Coach Lugo's got to be excited for the start of this set. A little bit better. See if they can take it, the momentum, and grab a run here and get the lead. Oh, Tubbs with the diving play. Sister Tubbs over to Handy. Keeps it in play there. And we taps it over. Tubbs to Handy. Back to Tubbs. Adawa sets it up. Nails it to Vandewey. Emily Van Der Wee, the junior, playing an excellent contest. Service in play. Padilla back over the net. Set up Van Der Wee again. Oh, oh, not going to make it over. Got to land short. Van Der Wee getting the job done now. Five to three lead. The early going here in set number three for the Pittman Pride. Service fault there, five to four. These Pittman high schoolers over here having a good time and join, join the night out. Nice point one there from Pittman. Tubbs not able to run it down. Yeah. 
Six to four lead here for the Pittman ladies. Good stop there. Vanderweed blocked that time. Good battle on this point. Oh, it's going to hit the net. Misses it for the Pittman Pride ladies. Big point there for the Turlock Bulldogs. Six to five here. Oh, sets it up for Padilla. Padilla nails it. Nice shot there. Six to six. Tubbs will be serving here. The younger Jasmine Tubbs. Pittman sets it up. Jaden Tubbs. Handy. Oh, my. Handy sets up Jasmine. Jaden to Handy to Jasmine. And those three, deadly combo there. And that's a quick three point run and a quick timeout on the other side. And love the use of timeout so far from these coaches. They just now gave up the lead for the first time in this set. And it's just it's still a very close set. And you can see, though, that the Bulldogs are fi finding their rhythm right now. And any time they're in rhythm, it's good to cut it out, you know, the best way that you can. We'd like to thank our sponsors tonight. Latif Restaurant, Meeting Rooms On Demand, and Crivelli Shirts and More. Final third, uh, third set here, the best of five. Seven to six lead. Here in Turlock, California, home of the Bulldogs. Everybody having a good time out here tonight. Pittman also located here in Turlock, so this is a crosstown rival. Tub serve, service fault there, knotted up at seven, back the other way. Another good use of the timeout, got Tubbs off of her rhythm briefly. Serve there. Tubbs keeps it in play. Padilla. Perfect spot there. Nobody there to get it. Nice point. Tubbs going to take a little break. Eight to seven lead here for the home team. Must win set for them. Pittman Pride looking to finish this match off. Handy keeps it alive. Great play there for the Bulldogs. Now the set's turned around in their favor. Much better start to the set. Set number three than their first two. Nine to seven lead here. Romo with the serve. Setting up. Pittman Pride on the other side. Handy. A little miscommunication on the Pittman team. This should be a point here, and it will be. 10 to 7. Lead there. Great play from Isabella Bush. After the miscommunication there, the advantage to take that point was in the Bulldogs' hands. And all of a sudden, they're now. Up three. This uh, matches their largest lead of this contest, but let's see if they can continue to move this forward and take control of this set. That is going to land in play by a, a small hair. Four four point run here. Streak of four here for Romo on her serve. Eleven to seven lead here for the Bulldogs. Set number three. Start to feel a little bit of the momentum swinging in their favor. The student section over there needs to get a little more riled up. Maybe they just came back from getting get some food, but time to get going because their young ladies are battling right now. 
Pittman Pride trying to get one of these points. And they will. Bush not able to get that kill successfully. 11 to 8. Eleven to eight here in set number three. Handy sets up Bush and it's going to be successful for a point there. Nice work from Isabella Bush to get that point right back that she gave up on the previous. Twelve to eight here. Nice there point for the Pittman Pride ladies gets it by Jaden Tubbs see the replay there that was a replay from a point prior 12 to 9 Pittman Pride looking to battle back here in this set Nice work from the Bulldog ladies. Not giving any ground in this set here so far. It was a 6-4 to four lead for the Pittman prior to this set. Up two sets to nil with the 6-4 to four lead. Uh, hopefully they're not looking back at that later. Kicking themselves. They were right where they needed to be. Now they're down in this set. About halfway through. Set number three. Bulldogs looking to scratch the board. And pull within one set here. Bulldogs, handy. That's up, Bush. Nails it. Good defense there for the Pittman Pride ladies. Keeps it in play. Handy. Sets up, Tubbs. Nails it. Now they're cooking. 14 to 9. Stick with what's been successful. Staying aggressive, just like I expected them to do. Stick with the game plan. That's what Coach Lugo wanted them to be doing tonight. Service fault there. Way long. And you got to like the Pittman Pride ladies, even though they're down in this set. They're, they're you know, exuberant after each point. It's one thing I've noticed a little bit from them tonight, especially really, really getting into it. Still in play here. Pittman Pride. Oh, we got fall down over here. Bulldogs let you and she's limping a little bit. That's handy. Hopefully she's okay. I see a little limp there. That point's going to be earned by the Pittman Pride, but I'm more interested to see if Handy hurt herself there. She took a nasty spill and was limping a little bit. Obviously she's not exiting the, the, the rotation right now, but if she's hurt, that could cause some problems for them. Nice there. Oh, good work on the defense. That perks. Ball's going to be out slightly. Point back over to the Bulldogs. Staying in control here up by four. 15 to 11 in this set number three. Tub serving. Oh, nice. Fallon Evans keeps it alive for the Pittman Pride. Overshot for Vanderweed. 16 to 11. Audrey Dykes will doing a good job on the last couple of points, fighting off some fierce ones. Randawa keeps it in play here. Vanderweed back over the net. Handy setting up Tubbs again. Out. In. You gotta be in. Nails the point 17 to 11. Another timeout here called from Coach Luga or from Coach Pontes Christian on the Pittman side. They're down by six. 17 to 11 in the second uh, third set. Bulldogs are looking to notch their first one here. To make the full comeback. To do it, they're gonna have to win three sets in a row. But this is a good start for them. Generations of locals and travelers alike have made stopping at Latif's restaurant a tradition and for some a daily routine. 
It's established in 1947 and its current location since 1960. Latif's restaurant has become a landmark in Turlock, California. To keep our fry pies fresh, we bake daily in the restaurant for our dining customers to enjoy by the slice, as well as a few whole pies for same day takeout. Timeout over with here. Bulldogs looking to just continue where they're at here, finish this set off, regroup, and come out for a very important set for Pittman Pride, ladies. They can go on a run here. They're not out of this set yet. I've seen some crazy things in volleyball. Remember one time watching a volleyball match. It was in the final set, race to 15, and it was 14 to 6, and that team with 6 came back to win. 17 to 15. Went on a 10 streak. Nice point there for the Bulldogs. Actually, that'll be for the Pittman Platts. Well, I thought the score scoreboard had it wrong there. 17 to 12. Randawa here for the serve. They need to get themselves a quick streak of something here. Two, three, four. Would be real, real good for them at this time. Tubbs to Handy. Back to Tubbs. Randawa keeps it in play, but no one's there. Miscommunication. They went the wrong way. Didn't know where to go. It was Avery Carlson. Service fault there. Nice. Hits the net and lands over. Quick point there, 18 to 14. Trying to work their way back in here in this set number three are the Pittman Pride. Madison Hall serving here. Haven't called her name too much tonight. Playing a different position here on defense of the Bulldogs. Handy. Setting up Tubbs. Kill at the net. Excellent job there for the Pittman Pride ladies. And they're, they're showing what they've shown all match. That they're, you know, right in, right in it here. Just a moment ago you thought this set was getting ready to fade away to the Bulldogs. And now it's back to a three-point game. Oh, job from Tubbs there to save that one. Still in play. Pippen Pride, ladies. Randawa misses it. Big miss there. If they could have gained another point or two right in that spot. Would have put them a lot closer. 19 to 15. Bulldogs still in control here. Just need to play this out point for point. If they can gain one out of every two points, they will win the set. It's all that they need to worry about. And they got another one there. That's a big point. 20 to 15. Bulldogs working strong here in this third set. Tubbs with the serve. Handy. Back over to the Pittman Pride, ladies. Handy keeps that in play. Tubbs still in play here. Jumping over each other. Nice point. We've had a few of these tonight. Who's going to win it? Pittman Pride still in the point. Oh, we've got somebody hurt here. Oh, no. We've got an injury here. We hope that she's okay. Where are they giving the point to? She went down real quick. We'll give you her name as soon as I can grab her number. We hope this young lady's okay. This last thing we want to see is any injuries. You do get them in volleyball. A lot of leg injuries, foot injuries per se. That's why you see all of these young ladies have their legs wrapped up right below their knees. Not a shocker in the game of volleyball. You, you do a lot of sudden movements and it's very easy to pull a muscle, to even tear a muscle. If you just land in an awkward position, 
especially with some of the ways that they move out there. She, yep, uh, she looks like she took a pretty severe ankle injury. I can relate, as I, I'm wearing a boot at the moment from a broken ankle just a week ago. Third time I've broken it in four, four years. Well, we hope that young lady's okay. Avery Carlson there. We hope she's all right. That point did go to the Bulldogs. They're going to get a service fault here to follow it, but Bulldogs right where they need to be, as I mentioned, as long as they just win win of every other point, this set will be complete here shortly. Only thing they're looking to prevent is a streak. Pittman Pride, if they can get a streak of three or four right here, right back in it. Service in play. Handy. Pittman Pride keeping it alive here. Oh, that was it high. Point one at the net. Pittman Pride. Big point there. 21 to 17. Bulldogs are still okay here. Pittman Pride is going to need quite a few more points. So either right now or real soon in a row, they're going to be able to come back in this set. Down by four. Service fault there. Bad time for that. 22 to 17. As I said, every other point is what they're looking for here. If they can just get a few more, they're going to be down by a set. Moving forward to set four. See if Romo and company can get there. Romo. Set of Hedy. Bush. Nailed it. 23 to 17, and they can taste it now. They are close to this set number three win. Pittman Pride ladies are going to have to regroup. Realize that they're facing a very tough opponent and should have realized that they would not go down in three sets easily. And it's not looking like that will happen tonight. That still in play. Great work there from the Bulldogs. Pittman Pride ladies. Shot. Nailed it. Off the hand of Tubbs. Good point there. 23 to 18. No big deal there for the Bulldogs. As I mentioned, they're just a couple points away from this set. Fallon Evans with the serve. Mm, tough point there. Nailed it. Bush with the win at the net. Set point. One of six here. Audrey Dixel serving for the set. Nice point there for the Pittman Pride ladies. This will be the time. See if they can get this set point here. They're going to need five points in return to fight off. Five serve wins in a row to stay alive in this set. Handy. Set of tubs. Nailed it. That was actually Padilla there with the set point in the set win there. Great set there from the Turlock Bulldogs, and that's going to make this a two, to two, one, two set to one advantage for the Pittman Pride ladies. And you see the student section getting a little more ramped up over there. Throwing up pictures of some of these other girls that are on the team. Everybody dancing, having a good time. Very exciting time here so far tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in. We hope you all are having a wonderful Thursday night. Hope you all are enjoying some volleyball here with us on NorCal Sports TV.
Thank you guys for tuning in. Fourth set upcoming. This will be a good one here. We may be looking at a best of five. You got to love that for volleyball. I mean, I will tell you, headed into tonight, personally, I did want to see best of five, okay, you know. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's coming or not, but for some reason I felt it. I felt we were going to get the whole five setter here. Score up there for you. As you can see, Pittman was able to hold on to the first two sets, 25-23. But the home team undefeated. Turlock Bulldogs will not give up that first conference loss that easily. Come back with the 25-19 pretty dominating performance in set number three. They were down 6-4 to four in that set, and after that point in time, they really turned on the Jets. They went on a quick streak there and took a 4-5 or five point lead, which they coasted in through the rest of that set. The closest it got was 4 points late in the set at 21-17. to 17. So we've got our fourth set upcoming here, and I know Coach Pontes Christian is telling her young ladies, like, same thing she said before the previous set, I'm imagining. We're playing great, and we're one set away. Just stick with what we've been doing. Continue with the the intensity that they've had out here all night long. They've been very excited for every point win, and that is not necessarily something you're going to see all the time, you know. And not, not saying the Bulldog ladies haven't done the same. They just, uh, you know, I think they're more used to it. They're, they're, they, they expect to go on those streaks. They expect to make the plays. But you can see, just when just what I heard from both coaches too, you know, overall talent level on, you know, the Bulldogs is just astounding this year. There's a reason they're number one. The Pittman Pride ladies have had some injuries, so coming into tonight, you know, I don't know if Coach Pontes Christian expected them to jump out to a quick 2-0 set lead like that. Speaking with her earlier, she was just hoping that they were they stayed competitive tonight and They've more so than done that. No matter what happens in the end result, even if they end up losing three sets to two, their Pittman Pride ladies can go home, heads held high, knowing that they played an excellent game tonight. They're, they're putting the Bulldogs to their biggest test so far the season here on their home court at 28-8, and eight, undefeated in conference at 11-0. All right, set number four underway. Serve there from the Bulldogs. Mandawa gets it back over. Handy. Sets it up. Randawa nails it. That may be the first point. No. Save. Tub keeps it in. Long point here to start this set. Who's going to win it? Still, what a battle at the net there. Back and forth. Still going. Oh, what a shot. Nailed it. Emma Hurt scoring a captain with the left hand of Fury there just puts it in the perfect spot in the left corner, left back corner there. Absolutely no chance for a return on that one. 1-0 one lead here in the early going. This set, that's going to be tipped. Yep, that'll be point for the Bulldogs, 1-1. One Jaden Tubbs back to serve. She's committed to go to UOP is Jaden Tubbs. She'll be playing volleyball there. Good for her. Randawa misses it there. The unforced there there for Pittman. Two to one. No room for error at this point of the contest. Out. Missed it by a few inches. Not much. That'll be 3-1 to one here for the Bulldogs. And they're looking to continue this pace. We'd love to just strangle hold another set here. And force a fifth and final. Oh, yeah. Good job at the net there again. That time from Handy. Here comes Randawa. Misses it. 4-1. Four, four straight points. And the Bulldogs really have all the momentum here in this contest. So they really need to continue with what they have, take it and run with it. It's not easy to come back from two sets to nil down, but they're showing you a good 
way to do it here. One point at a time. Don't avert your game plan. Then they go again. Staying aggressive. Five to one. Streak of five here. We don't see a timeout called yet. I don't know. I see the dismay look in Coach Pontes Christian's face. He knows this is not the way they wanted to start this set out. When you're already an underdog, you don't want to be starting out from a mile behind in the set. Five to one here. Ball is in play. Nice rally on both sides. Nailed it there. Oh, Tubbs goes all out down to the ground. But they do not make the shot. Handy misses that one. Five to two. But a big five streak in the early going of set number four. Could be the defining moment in this set. Oh, maybe not though. Pittman Pride getting right back to it. Missed shot there, unforced there. There you go. Handy gets it right back for the Bulldogs. Still with a nice three-point lead here in the early going of this fourth set. Again, I'm Dustin Padgett here with you on NorCal Sports TV. We hope you all are having a great Thursday night. Enjoying some competitive girls high school volleyball. Lots of people in the stands here. Handy, the ace. Love that serve. Crosses that ball way up there. You can tell she's been practicing in that for quite some time, if not her whole life. Nails it again. That one's going to be a little long. Staying aggressive on her serves, though. you got to like that. That's the second time we've seen her do that, where she's won an ace, and then her following serve ended up going too long. 7-4. to four. Andy nails it. It's going to be out there for Tubbs. Andy sets up Tubbs. Not going to get it. Battling here. Back down just by two. If they can start squeezing points back, you know. Pittman Pride staying their way in this fourth set. But that streak of five to start wasn't what they wanted. Randawa tries to make a soft serve and misses it. Land short. Service fault there. Haven't been many service faults tonight. And, you know, for... Some of you who watch quite a bit of volleyball, like myself, you, you know that service faults happen quite often, and you got to love these young ladies being able to get their serves in. Great play there from the Pittman Pride. But even at the professional level, you know, you could watch a, a volleyball match of this length and, and find yourself 20 or 25 service faults, but really we've only seen maybe 10 or so here. Both squads doing an excellent job of, of keeping their serves in play. Oh, nice shot there. And are we. They're getting a little excited now. They made a nice little comeback here in the early going in this fourth set. Looking a little bit more excited there on the, the Pittman Pride sidelines. First two sets they won in a close battle. Third set, Bulldogs pulled away from them a little bit. And they were looking to do the same here early in set number four, but... Not now. Oh, my. What a shot there. Bulldogs. Big point there from Dysel. Finds the open space. Nails her shot. Hits her spot. 9-7. Sarah Romo back on serve now. Service. Oh, Pittman probably keeps it in play. Nice shot there. Pittman probably nails it. Got on her a little too quick. That'll make it 9-8. to eight. Nice. Good point there. One from the Bulldogs. Hanging on to that lead. And it's key moving forward here in this set. They've given a little ground back, but they're really just trying to maintain. 
Service in play. Nice play at the net from Bush and Andy. 11 to 8. Big point there. That's going to be a timeout. I like that timeout again from Coach Christian. The momentum was on their side there for the past 10, 10 or so points after the early five streak here in the fourth set. But that was a big point earned. A big streak of two even. So when it was just 9 to 8, now 11 to 8. 11 to 8 is a much better position to be in, of course, than 9 to 8 would be. Meeting rooms on demand, a unique alternative to hotel conference rooms. With rates as low as $40 an hour and seating capacity up to 50, we provide unprecedented value for small businesses. Locations in Fremont, Castro Valley, Fresno, Las Vegas, with new locations coming soon to Modesto. Reach us at meetingroomsondemand.com and tell them you saw this ad on NorCal Sports TV for a 50% discount off your first rental. Unprecedented service and value meeting rooms on demand. Timeout over. Pippen been Pride ladies got to keep battling here. Because if they do not come out with the win here in this fourth set, the momentum and the advantage swings right to the Bulldogs. That was a close one there. Service fault it was almost an ace. They decided to back off and let it go. That's always fun funny to see whatever they do that you know sometimes it'll be in sometimes it out that was a real close one you gotta like their being able to judge the the, the court just enough there nice shot there from Padilla Bulldogs 12 to 9 lead Padilla is gonna now get earn herself the service although that moves in rotation but still Good timing for her to get onto her serve by winning a previous point. Kept in play here. Nice shot there. Kept alive. Back over the net. Randawa nailed it. Great shot there from her. Pushes it over everybody. Right to the back of it. Was able to get it on over the back shoulder of the defender back there. Not much of a shot she was able to make. 12 to 10. Service in play again. Oh, nice. Still in play here. Nailed it. Fitting in pride, ladies. Battling. 12 to 11. Big point there. Not giving up here in this fourth set. Realizing that their advantage to win this match is now. This is the set that they want. They do not want to move forward in this match. Oh, fall down, and that's going to be nailed by Handy. Handy saw that. Smart play there from Handy. That is why she is good at what she does. You see, you got to be, you got to use your eyes in this game more so than the mini. You got to know where to be at all times. That ball could come right in your eyeball at any time. You got to be active. Handy understood immediately. Oh, nice shot there. They're going to get the call in. That looked a little a little wide to me. Let's see if we get a good replay of it. That was a previous point. Handy sets up Tubbs. Nailed it. Nailed it. Good point there. 14 to 12. Bulldogs hanging on. In this set, they jumped out to a quick 5-1 lead. They've been prior to battle back. They've been pride. Randall and nailed it. In play. What a shot there from Randall. She's really picking it up here in this set. Had quite a few good shots. Now, what do you expect from a captain? But nothing, nothing other than that. Wow, what a battle we've seen tonight, folks. Back and forth. Oh, huge point. Huge service win there for Randawa. Knotted up at 14. Down 5-1 to one in the early going here. Looking like the Bulldogs were right on track for an easy set. Number four. Now it's all knotted up at 14 apiece. They've made it all the way back. And they get another. 
Strike time for the Pittman Pride. 15 to 14 lead. I'm wondering when we'll see a timeout here from Coach Lugo to break this momentum. Get it right back on their lady's side. I, I bet if we see one more point, we very well may. Handy. Sets up Tubbs. Tubbs nailed it. Good effort at the block there, but was laid it out, out of play. Knotted up at 15 here. You can feel the tension in the room, folks. What's going to happen next? Only time will tell. Miss there. Big unforced error. That time Madison King did not get the shot that she wanted. The Bulldogs are able to grab that lead back brief slightly with that one point advantage and on serve slightly ahead nailed it out of play there missed it and now the Bulldogs on a streak of three as soon as the Pittman Pride ladies took the lead the Bulldogs grabbed three huge points in a row there see if they can keep it going Tubbs with the serve that was hit with the Yep, that was hit with her hand, the palm of her hand. You're not allowed to do that. And that's a four streak here. And the Bulldogs are right back in the set where they want to be. 18 to 15, three-point lead. A very crucial run they just picked up here. Pittman Pride Ladies had made it all the way back in this set from being down. And now they're going to have to try to do it once more. And Coach Lugo here on the sideline is going to tell her ladies just what I was saying in the previous set. Win one of every other point. Just play it nice and safe and you'll get where you need to be here. We'd like to thank Crivelli Shirts and more. They started in 2005 in our garage as a promotional items company. We soon discovered that our niche would be the local schools, so we opened our storefront downtown. We offer screen printing, embroidery, custom rhinestone apparel, hats, bags. Don't see what you want in our store. We can make something custom for you. We also carry the best letterman jackets in the industry and do all the embroidery and patches in the house. Have an idea for a custom design for your jacket? We can make it happen. 18 to 15 here. Pittman Pride ladies need to stop the bleeding. They've lost four points in a row right after taking the first lead in this set. Well, after the 1-0 lead they had. Tubbs over to Handy. Padilla, nice stop there from Randala. Good job from Tubbs there on the defense. Padilla, oh, great point on both sides. Oh, it lands in on the back end of the line. Big point there from the Pittman Pride ladies and Emma Hertzshorn. Nobody was back there, perfectly placed. It's not all, like I said, it's not always about strength or the, the hardest hit ball. Best placed is always key. Oh! It's got to hit the net and reject back. 18 to 17 and just what the timeout called for for Coach Pontes Christian. Got those two points back immediately. The Bulldogs were looking to run away with the set in this late going. Now we're back to the nitty gritty. 18-17. And Allen keeps it in play. Put over Tubbs. Keeps it alive. Handy. Padilla. Nice at the net. Handy. Padilla. Oh, my. What a stop there. And it's in the back line. Same spot again from Emma Hurst scoring. Let's wash repeat. And that's going to knot us up at 18. And that's going to lead to an immediate timeout from Coach Lugo. Wow. How about the last 15 or so points in this contest, folks? Both teams with streaks. Pittman streaks. Then with a streak of five and then a streak of four for the Bulldogs. And now with a streak of three right back for the Pittman Pride. 18 to 18. And this set four is really coming to the nitty gritty. Two to one lead here in the sets for Pittman. Tied up at 18 here. They're a hop, skip, and a jump from finishing this match off. They just need to string together a nice set of seven points. On the other side, the Bulldogs here, the home undefeated ladies, just need to keep playing through, using their confidence, and hope they can find a way to 
somehow squeeze out this fourth set here. I got to say the last 25 or so points of this set, 30 points have really been on the favor of Pittman. It was a 5-1 to one lead early and it seemed like the Bulldogs were going to roll with this set, but Pittman ladies have really made a nice comeback. Oh, right in between both. Big point there from the Bulldogs, 19-18. to 18. Hanging on in the lead here are the Bulldogs trying to force a fifth set. If we do hit five, that's a race to 15, folks. And at that point, any any ladies game. But the Bulldogs definitely swing back into the advantage at that point in time. Nice there. Huge point. Sierra Verdoni able to find the soft spot in the defense. Knotted up at 19 here. Pittman crowd going nuts over here. These young high schoolers loving, loving it what they see for them, their ladies tonight. Handy to Padilla. Overshoots it. And now the advantage moves to the Pittman pride. They're in a position now if they can just gain one more point on their serve, they would be where they would only need to win one of every other point to win this match. They're in the lead, but they would love one more than they get. Gorsh misses it, and all of a sudden, the Bulldogs are sweating. 21 to 19, and there's another timeout for Coach Lugo, her second in a slate of nine points. Just moments ago, it was 18 to 15 lead for the home team Bulldogs. They were on a four streak. They had turned around this contest into a point where we were right on the cusp of a fifth set. And all of a sudden, the Pittman Pride ladies with a key timeout and some key, key play have taken the lead and are in a position to win this match as long as they do not give up any streaks and win one of every other point of the next four points, they will win it. It seems easy to do, but it's not. I tell you what, no matter how easy something may seem, anything can happen. And this set here has gone back and forth multiple times. They were down 5-1 to one in the early going of this set and have turned it around to a 20, on a 20-14 to 14 run to take a two-point lead. Fallon Evans, captain, serving. Handy. Sets up Padilla. Oh, what a stop from the Pittman Pride. It's still going, and they're not going to get it twice. Call to the Pittman Pride. Got the net. Oh, no. 22 to 19. It was a good shot from Padilla, and it did land. But they are not going to get that call. Got Evans, back to serve. Another stop, oh no! 23 to 19, and Pittman Pride ladies are looking to finish it off now. Huge run here. Five streak, down 19 to 18, they say no mind. We'll go on a five streak real quick. 23 19, handy to Padilla. That one's gonna get down. Bulldogs are going to gain one there, but they're in a position now where they're going to have to win at least a couple of serves. If they lose this point, they're all but in a dire strait. They would need five point or four points in a row if they lose this year. Service. Gets it in. Here it comes. Nice! Bush there says, no, not just yet. I'm going to be right there at the net. Put that one right back at you. 23 to 21. They still need to gain at least one more here, if not two more, but have to have this point do the Bulldogs. Tubbs keeps it alive. Handy to Padilla. Randawa keeps it alive on the inside. Back over the net. The younger Tubbs keeps it alive over the net. What a point here. Going both ways, Padilla, still alive, Pittman ladies, what a job there, and the Bulldogs will win it, Handy at the net, knocks it down, and there is a streak of three from the Bulldogs, all of a sudden 23 to 22, everybody is excited, and that is something they should be, but 
Nothing's done yet. They need one more point. If they don't get this, oh, and a service fault. Worst possible time there for the Bulldogs. And they're in dire straits here. The Pittman Pride have double match point at 24 to 22. Looking to finish it off on the service end. That's always the harder way to finish. Bush nails it. The Bulldogs grab that point. But now they have to earn a service point. And in the game of volleyball, defense is much easier. It's never easy to earn that serve point. Will we get it done? Padilla back for the serve. Most important point of the match. Gets it in. Over the net. Still alive. Handy. Sets up Tubbs. Block. And that is out by about a foot. Not it up at 24. And you see everybody going insane now. Double match point tossed aside just like that. Tough, that was the toughest one of the two, winning your serve point. Now you got to win by two at this stage, so the next serve point to win puts whoever in advantage. Oh, what a job there. Pittman Pride nailed it all for it. What a play from the Pittman Pride on the defensive end, and that turns into a point. Looked like that ball was going to get down, and the Bulldogs were going to take the lead right there. Pittman Pride able to fight it off, and now they have yet another match point. Bulldogs going to have to keep battling. Another captain on serve. Padilla to Handy. The Bush nailed it. No problem, says Isabella Bush. And uh, again, these young men and women over there on the student section are just going nuts. Everybody on both sides. Very exciting. 25-25. Tubbs to serve. Pittman keeps it in play. Handy to Tubbs. Keeps it in play there. Tubbs doesn't try anything. Spectacular. Point to the Bulldogs. Out of play. Set point for the Bulldogs. A fierce comeback here down the stretch of this set. They were down 23 to 19, facing elimination in this match in their first league loss. And now they have a set point. And they may get it. Ooh, Randall almost missed that. Still alive. Back over to Handy to Tubbs. That ball's still in play here. Pittman probably going to have to find a shot. Tubbs keeps it alive. Handy. Still alive here. Pittman Pride going to need to find it. Not really going for the aggression. Set point. Set man. For the third long Bulldogs. And you can the crowd in the background. Oh, my. What a turnaround in that set. Back and forth. Back and forth. All match. All set long. Started out with a 5 to 1 lead in the set for the Bulldogs. Pittman Pry came all the way back and near the end of the set were right away from finishing this match and giving the Bulldogs their first conference loss of the season. 23 to 19, up a set, and the Bulldogs come all the way back. Knotted up at 24 apiece on a 5 to 1 run at the end of the contest and are able to come out with a 27 to 25 set win. How about that? Fifth and final setup coming. A race to 15. And for Coach Pontes Christian, the way that set unfolded, you know, you've got to you gotta feel bad. But at the same time, if you would have told her going into this match, we'd be going into a fifth set, she would love it. It's a race to 15. It's any lady's game. Nothing to hold your head down about. You played great so far. Just because you weren't able to finish it off right there does not mean that you got to Hold your heads down. You see the set point and the set win there. Fans going crazy in the sideline. Totally unexpected there. Three match points missed. There it was 24 to 22. All they needed to do was win one of those two points. And then they were also up 25 to 24 and lost the last three. They do not want to give up that undefeated record easily, do the Bulldogs. Two and two here. Well, this student section is going 
nuts over here. They're all rolling around on the ground. It's having a good old time. Pittman student section looks a little quiet over here. However, they got to realize it's still one more set to play any ladies game at this point. I'm excited to see what will unfold here. What a contest here so far between both of these teams. It's been a lot of fun here tonight. We hope you guys have all enjoyed our broadcast. Frankly, I hope we got more games coming with this team here because I've done my fair share of high school sports and the, the environment in this gym is absolutely electric for high school sports, especially for the women's variety. You've got to love to see these young ladies getting the full support of their of their squad. I, I remember doing a basketball game one time that literally had maybe 40 people in the stands on both sides. And it was almost that many players on the court. And, you know, it was just frustrating for me to see as the broadcaster watching, you know, the lack of support at that particular place. And, you know, you just you don't get that at all here. I mean, I'm not sure of the size of these high schools or not, but you've got a good... 100 students, maybe even more on both sides. You know, 100 or so on the Turlock side, maybe 50 or so on the Pittman side. You know, and that's a good part of their student body that's coming out here to support these women. And they're all having a good old time. Like I said earlier, who needs homework on a Thursday night when you could be out here watching some volleyball? Final set. Off and rolling. Pittman Pride will get the serve. Race to 15. Let's see what happens. Handy sets up Bush. Nails it. First point there belongs to the Bulldogs. They've got all the momentum right now. Fight off three match points. Make an absolute miracle comeback in that fourth set. This could be something to write home about. This could be typical of a storybook season here. Let's see what happens. Still in play. Back over. And he sets up Bush. Oh, good job there. As she's falling down for the Pittman Pride. Keeps that in play. Handy. Over to Padilla just to keep it in play. Oh, almost. Oh. Does fall to the ground. I, looks like he hit the ground there. 2-0. I think they called cheated with a palm. We had a tough angle on that one. That's a big point. 2-0 lead. And the early advantage here to the Bulldogs. Serve. Oh, nice. Well, handy. Goes down to her. Easy. He's able to stop that. Oh, missed shot there. Huge unforced there there for the Bulldogs. Give a point back over to the Pittman Pride. 2-1 here. Two to one. Bush misses it. Oh, great job at the net from Randawa. Two to two. Big couple of points here. Both squads completely evenly matched tonight. Two to two in sets. Two to two in points. Coming down to the wire. First two sets, one for Pittman. Bulldogs battled back and won the last two. Oh, what a shot there. Making a streak of three. Well done by Amanda Weed there. She's been doing it all contest long. Huge time for that run. Well needed after losing that set the way they did and coming out down 2-0 in a race to 15. Couldn't ask for much more than the game three. See if they can get another here. They would love to get one more. And they do! Amanda Weed nails it. Two in a row for her. Starting to take over. 4-2 here. Now they're in the advantage. While it's still very early in this set, if they can just win one of every other point, they will win the contest. If they don't give up any streaks from the Bulldogs, Pittman can finish it off. Oh! Oh! What a battle there. That was so close. Point over to the Bulldogs. Serve here from Padilla. 
down a point. Nice placement there for Rando. We've seen nothing but good stuff from her as well tonight. That's at least the fifth time I've seen her strategically place one of those balls just like that. Do not have to nail it. Just got to find the right spot. She's on serve now. Bush nails it and finds the point there. Big point there from Bush. But they got to find some service points here. Five to four here. Fifth and final set. Oh, that one looked like it went through the net there. Sets up Tubbs is handy. Oh, good job from Fallon Evans there. And it's knocked down at the net. Knotted up at five. Bulldogs not going down without a fight. Back even in this fifth and final set. Race to ten now. First to hit 15. Jaden Tubbs back to serve. Pittman keeps it in. Point for the Bulldogs. Give them the 6-5 to five lead. We're going to get a timeout after a streak of three from the Bulldogs. And now the Pippen Pride are losing again here in the set. Good time for the timeout. Going back and forth, Bulldogs, you got to give them all the credit in the world. Just continuing to battle back, battle back, battle back. After that set four comeback here in the set five, they go down early, five to three, and we're looking like in danger mode, but able to get through it. I'd like to thank our sponsors here tonight. Latisse Restaurant, Meeting Rooms On Demand, and Covelli Shirts and more. Six to five lead. Every time we've seen Coach Pontes Christian call a timeout tonight, her girls have come back and gone on at least a one-point streak. A few of those times have gone on nice streaks. So let's see if they can continue that tonight. It's, she's six for six on her timeout calls coming out of them. Won every single point. See if she can do it again here. Tubbs back to serve. Bulldogs would love to take that extra point lead. And they will! Miss it from Evans. Knocked out of play. 7-5. to five. Streak of four now. And a big time for the Bulldogs. Serve. Evans back on track there. Vandeweed nails it. Handy. Almost found that soft spot. Vandeweed keeps it alive. Tubbs back to Handy. Here comes Tubbs, the younger. Good job from Randall. Oh, no. Can't keep it in play. Out of play. And all of a sudden, the Bulldogs are looking to finish this one off now and to stay undefeated. A five streak here at the most key of times for them. Tubbs serving. What a match. And making a six streak. On fire now. Falling apart on the Pitman Pride ladies at the wrong time. Just a moment ago at the 5-3 lead, they had the momentum. They were just trying to turn their way there. Same thing at the end of set four. And now they're in danger of losing this match. But you got to give the Bulldogs credit and Amber Lugo. Coach, what a comeback here. And that might be another. No, ball still in play. On the Bulldog side, Andy sets up. Oh, it's going to land short there. The streak is over, but they're still in a very, very good position here. Just need to gain one of every other point, or even one of every other two points. You only need six before the other team gets nine. You can almost lose one of every other point and still. Can the Pittman Pride ladies get a streak? Tubbs, oh! Good stop from the ladder, Tubbs, there. Nailed, but it goes out. And Reed misses it. She had a chance there. 10 to 6. Another timeout here from Coach Podcast Christian. Can't, can't keep them timeouts in your back pocket. So. 10 to 6. Turlock students going crazy over there now. Everybody having a good time. 
I imagine there might be a storming on this court here in a few moments if they can finish this off with the next five points. Hear them chanting over there now. Bulldogs can finish this off. Service fault there. Not what they wanted there. And there you, that's what Coach Christian said. You know, they're still staying excited on the Pittman Pride sideline. I like to see that. Every point matters. And they just need to go on a little streak of three here. If they can get it themselves a streak of three, they're right back in this final set. Dallin Evans, captain, serving. Serve in play. Tubbs. Andy sets her up. Back over to the Pittman Pride ladies. Nice shot there. Andy keeps it in play. Tubbs nails it. Right off her. Tipped out of bounds and that will be a point for the Bulldogs. 11-7. Pittman Pride ladies unable to gain that service point. They're going to need a few of them here down this final few points. Hey, the Bulldogs did it before. They can do it again. Service goal. Big one there. Now Pittman Pride ladies need to find at least one or two right now. Almost no chance if you don't gain them soon. Really would love to get even just one now and then one on their next serve. Feasibly if they win their return point too. Could put them in a much better light. Handy. Sets up Padilla. Out! They gave the point to the Bulldogs. Here's the replay. Wow, that looks a little, a little long. Tough point loss there. Bulldogs with the lead now. 12 to 8. That was huge. Nice. Good return serve there. 12 to 9. But again, since they weren't able to get that call in the previous one, now they're in a position where. You almost need at least two serve, serve points here. Of course, one would be better than none, but without, without a couple of serve points here, they're really going to be facing the end of this match. So, you're going to have to find them soon. If not on this serve, then on their next one. And that's up Padilla. Ball still in play. Good job there from the Pittman Pride ladies. Put it back over the net. And that's up Bush. Still in play, Pittman Pride ladies hanging on. Van Wheat hits it, Tubbs nails it, Bush. Oh! Nice save there. Can they keep the point alive for the Bulldogs? They're still in it. Pittman Pride ladies setting it up. Tubbs. Oh, they're still in it. Not, not a good shot there from Tubbs. Let's see if they can take advantage in. No! Nice save. Handy. This is an amazing point. Oh, wow. Fallon Evans with the dig there. Oh, my. Both sides giving it all up at this point here. What will happen? Fallon Evans. Oh, and now another save from Handy. Handy is doing everything out there. Still alive. Oh, my goodness. What a point. Still going. Randola. Coach, which I expect you can't take your timeouts home with you. What a huge point there. All that for just one point, though. The Bulldogs are still in a control here up by two. And as I said before, one point was great, but even, even so, if you didn't get two here, it almost might not matter. So they really need to get one more. If they can get it to 12 to 11 now, then they're in a position where they'll have two service games behind this to gain one more point. If they return their uh, return point, so there's still a few things in play here for the Pittman Pride. The Bulldogs are 
on the cusp of staying undefeated, getting their 12th conference win, going to 29 and 8, making a full comeback, two sets down. But the Pittman Pride ladies are not going down without a fight. They've got two points in a row here and are still on serve. Taking their time with this timeout. This is a huge point, just like that last one was. The difference between 13 to 9 and 12 to 10 is huge. And the difference between 13 to 10 and 12 to 11 is even bigger. Serve back in play. Tubbs, Handy, Padilla, Evans. Randoa sets it to the back and it's gone! She had a chance there. She's had the touch all game long, but not on that one. 13 to 10, and the Bulldogs can taste it. If they can just get one point on their serve, they can finish this one off. Big point here. Pride need it, and they get it. I, no, it's still in play. Oh, I thought that was going to hit the rafter. Oh, wow. They don't call that at the net ball. What a point there. They're one point away from finishing it off. The pride did not get the call on that point. Andy setting up Bush. Oh, nice point there from the pride to Randola. Nailed that one. Three more set points coming. They're going to need to win three in a row. That point before was so critical. Could be 13 to 12 right now. Another match point here for the Bulldogs. Handy. Set up Padilla at the net. That'll be the end of the line. The Bulldogs come back with a fierce comeback down two sets to love and win the match there. Stay undefeated. What a match for the Pittman Pride ladies. They, they gave their all. Both sides gave their all here tonight. Bulldogs come out on top. Three sets to two. We're going to take a quick break. Come back with our post-game wrap here on NorCal Sports TV.